Hi, so it's day two of my COVID-19 holiday away from physical contact with other people. So how's it been? Well, to be honest, it's felt like quite a long day. But you see, I'm used to quite long days of isolation and social distance. Um, and even though, as I said yesterday, this is a bit more extreme, uh, I feel like I've come up with some coping strategies um, that have helped me. So I thought I'd share those with you because I'm guessing that there's people out there who will be uh, separating themselves. They'll be in a flat or a room like me and uh, they're wondering how to cope with it. Well, um, fundamentally, you have to keep yourself busy um, lack of busyness leads to boredom, leads to depression and uh, unhealthy choices in my experience. So it's important to keep yourself busy, to find projects that you can do, things that you can fill your time with um, that interest you and that you find enjoyable and rewarding. But, uh, you know, how do you do that? Well, you might think initially the main problem is the lack of uh, space to get physical exercise. How do you keep yourself physically fit and uh, stop yourself wasting away? Well, it's actually more than that because what I've learned is that um, human beings are multi-faceted. Uh, we've got four different sides of our nature. We have a physical side, a mental side, an emotional and social side, and a spiritual side. And we need to balance our energy in those four different aspects. So it's not just a case of needing physical exercise. You know as well as I do, if you go for a long walk, that's great for you physically, but it gets boring. And that boredom comes from lack of mental stimulation and mental energy. So what have I been doing today? How, you know, just let's examine the way I've coped throughout the last uh, 12 hours or so. Um, I went on my exercise bike this morning, did a few press-ups and sit-ups, keep me physically active. But not only that, even after I then sat down on the sofa and started doing some work, uh, a couple of hours later, I got up, I walked around, I had a stretch, um, a couple of hours after that, I went on the exercise bike for another five minutes just to get the blood pumping in again. Um, I got the dumbbells out for again for a couple of minutes just to again get the blood circulating. So I've varied it, I've alternated the activity and the rest just to keep things varied. Mentally, I've tried to do some work. Um, and that for me is working on uh, superchargedfinance.com. Uh, I did some product development today, so I'll be making more videos, editing videos, and um, uh, writing content and stuff like that. But again, just like with the physical, where you need the activity and the rest, there again, on the mental side of things, you need to switch, switch off, switch tack. Um, so I've alternated between doing a few hours of work and then going to read a book, going to write some other stuff. Even doing this video diary is a change of tack for me uh, that keeps me going mentally. Emotionally and socially, that's really difficult in isolation. And thank God for the internet is uh, what I say. And uh, telephone communications. I've been on the phone to uh, to various people. I was on FaceTime with my uh, uh, my kids, and uh, I've been on social media. Even this video diary is going up on YouTube at some stage, and uh, uh, going out there to hopefully help other people and connect with other people with you. Um, and um, that's the point about the emotional, social side of our nature. We need to interrelate with other people. And so if we can deliberately do that and uh, you know, give some encouragement 
and uh, positivity to some other person, that then gives back to us as well. Spiritually, um, now I'm a Christian, I can talk about uh, spiritual things all day long, but really if you talk in general things, we all need a sense of purpose. We all have uh, principles and values that we live our lives by. And actually uh, what, um, what people have found is that uh, above the physical, the mental, the emotional, we also need to connect with a purpose. We also need to reflect on what's important to us. Why are we here? What are we trying to achieve in life? And so, um, again, I started the day, um, and I'll talk about this in a different video or blog post. I've been meaning to do that for a long time um, because I've got into the habit of starting every morning by trying to think of five things that I'm going to be thankful for today. And um, that really helps you to be positive and it helps to remind you of what's important to you and it helps to give you a boost and a purpose to get you through the day because you know that that day is going to get you through the next day and the next day and into the future. So physical, mental, emotional, social and spiritual, those are the four different sides of our nature and if you find some ways to, uh, to give attention to each one of those every day, then not only will you find enough to fill your time, but you'll find your energy levels go up because uh, um, you're uh, developing yourself. Now, that's a lot to pack into one video diary uh, video, um, but I hope that's been helpful. And I'll be back tomorrow with some other thoughts um, after another whole day in the quiet in the flat. So I'll see you then.